I'm doing the coach's notes for Wednesday. So on Wednesday we have two parts. The first is 15 minute e-long and the second will take about 15 to 20 minutes. This means we're gonna have about 35 minutes of work and that leaves 25 minutes for warm up and transition time. First we got our 15 minute e-long, minute one, two and two, tall jerks and knee tap. Minute three, minute two, 10 and two dumbbell rows. And minute three, 20 to 30 double unders. For B, five rounds for time, we'll have 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 wall balls and 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 ab mat sit ups, switching off back and forth between each one. So back to part A for our EMOM. Minute one in our tall jerks and knee tap. We just really want to focus on that split jerk and then you can watch the coaches notes for more videos, but that knee tap is really gonna reinforce that good solid foot position. And so you can make sure, make sure to tell everybody about that. For minute two, 10 and 10 dumbbell rows, we can use a bench or a box for assistance. Also, if you wanna use some kettlebells, these are really good and they can kind of hold on to them as they do their 10 and 10. And we wanna do all on one side, this switch to the other side. For our 20 to 30 double unders, we really want to focus on working dubs today or something other than single unders. So if somebody doesn't quite have double unders yet, they could do single double, single double double, whatever. Another good thing they can work on is clap jumps where they're clapping when they're in the air. Also, if somebody is really having trouble with jumping, you can take them to a line and they can just do some jumps over a line. Also, we can work single leg over a line or back and forth. So those are some good alternatives for single unders during the evening. Back to our workout. So this workout we have wall balls, so many of them, that's 150. So we really want to focus on good posture, like maintaining that position the entire time. The wall ball weight is a normal weight, so not super heavy. So this will be good. And then for our ad mat sit-ups, we really want to work on making sure everybody goes all the way back and to getting their shoulders over their hips. So I'll show you one. So we're going to go all the way back and then cut all the way forward. So that's a good at mat sit up. For our warm up, we really want to work on warming up our hips and our T-spine for the wall ball shots and shoulders also for the split jerks. Thanks.